Duck, 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 goose. <laughs> Eyes up here. Leo is a 3D computer animated musical comedy directed by Robert Marinetti, Robert Smeagol, and David Wachenheim. Produced by Happy Madison Productions, it is the second animated film from the studio after Eight Crazy Nights. The film centers around Leo, a lizard who, as of the new school year begins, realizes he's getting old and yearns to leave his tank to see the world. It's a Tuatara. They live a long time, till about 75. Hmm, never knew that. Suck on that, hamsters. Wow, looks like he's getting close to that. And after being stuck in that tank with his long friend Squirtle, an opportunity for adventure arises when the class receives a substitute teacher who assigns the kids to bring home one of the class pets for the weekend. Leo seizes this opportunity to make his great escape. Nearly escaping from the child who takes him home, Leo accidentally speaks to the kid and offers her advice, all while keeping it a secret. You talk! You're talking! I have to tell my mom or people think I'm crazy! I will probably have to go to that school and tamper for kids with tissues, but I have to! I, I... People can't know! This advice leads Leo to go home with every student, which each one of them benefiting from his wisdom and learning new things because of him. This, of course, results in a series of big and wacky hijinks throughout the film. The film characters include Leo, who seeks more out of life and inadvertently ends up enriching the lives of the kids in his latest class. He is dedicated and, despite his initial motivations, genuinely cares about the others. We got Squirtle, Leo's best friend, who shares the tank with him, who's living his best life in the tank, doing as he pleases. He may get jealous at Leo at times, but his primary concern is Leo's well-being, and he only wants what he thinks is best. Settle down. I'm a lizard. <laughs> That's good. Don't dignify it. And the rest of the cast comprises of the assortment of classmates and their teacher, with many of the students having their moment to shine as they face their own problems, helping each other learn and grow. The animation in this movie is very well done, maintaining a 3D style without aiming for excessive realism in their character designs. Some of the kindergartners might appear a bit unsettling at times, adding to the chaos they create wherever they go. But overall, a decent looking film. Overall, Leo is a pretty great film that offers a fun watch, and I also didn't expect it to be a musical based on the trailers. The songs are decent, not too annoying, but not too particularly memorable either. The film delivers on a pretty decent story about teaching kids to do their best and be their true selves while growing older. It has its heart in the right place, but perhaps with a bit more time for emotional depth, it could have had a stronger impact. Given the runtime though, it's understandable why it couldn't focus on that aspect the entire time. Leo is currently on Netflix right now, so give it a watch if you're interested.